he's uh, the real deal. He's he's taken surfing to the ultimate level, and uh, you know he's he's surfing royalty. I really admire the older lifeguards and what what we called watermen in those days, and they um, introduced me to surfing. And in those days, surfing was you weren't just a surfer; you were a you know, you body surfed and you, you know, spearfished and you, you know, got abalone and had fires on the beach at night and played music and ate um, sourdough bread and drank wine. So that whole culture of the older guys doing all this stuff was so um, intriguing to me. I think for Australians, I think he represented direct lineage to America and Hawaii and the Duke and. Um, you know, the US Surfing Association and bringing, they were obviously a lot more developed than we were in Australia and he brought that to Australia. And there's Rupert and the Monkey with Cats, which um, mm. is again one of my favourites and especially the story that Wayne told about being up in the, in the trees, story. I know, and hanging out with the monkeys in the, in the trees. Wayne's good at uh, bullies and interspecies communication. <laughs> Does he now? <laughs> Rusty's always had this cardboard box that lived in the garage and it was filled with these old colour slide transparencies and black and white negative strips and they just always had kind of been there and this winter we decided to, to open up the box and he'd tell me a little bit of a story about it and it just grew from there we just thought well what what do we do with them what he's doing with his books I think is important because he is managing to draw stories out of a lot of the characters involved that haven't been told before and sort of the amateur historian in me thinks that's really great that they're recorded and, and left around for, for people to, to read later on or, or for people to read right now, quite frankly. Walking on a dusty road in the countryside of ease. Every young California boy that surfed had this uh, you know, dream to go to ride the big waves in Hawaii because that's where you, that's where you sort of prove yourself. Sweet snow to the spring. I was the first person to be used as a um, national billboard on a wave. There's 40, 40 by 70 uh, Foster and Kleiser signs all around the United States. <laughs> so that was my, that was my uh, sort of um, uh, Forrest Gump moment. <laughs> After Bell's Beach in 1970, the World Contest, a whole group of them came up to Byron Lennox and consciously chose to live a more thoughtful life. Rented farmhouses, grew food, ate locally, ate seasonally, and lived simply, and lived surfing lives. I just fell in love with it. I went back and forth in um, 70, 72, back between America and Australia, but um, I just fell in love with Australia more and more, and then, then I came out here and I became a citizen in 1975, I became an Australian citizen. He's rare in the surfing bubble for his, he, he's very intelligent. You know, a lot of surfers don't spend that time edu getting the education, they just want to run off and go surfing. Rusty's a clever man, um, he went to university. He's got the, um, what, what Australians call, what are the budgie smugglers I guess they call them, yeah. but what does he call them? He calls we used them... to give him heaps for, um, for his um, short, his budgie smugglers. Rusty's one of those guys that um, you'll paddle out Lennox, Lennox head and um, you look down and there's there's Rusty taking off way over on the inside and he's 70 years of age and I think for all of us looking up at the aging process and trying to find ways to continue to surf he epitomizes that healthy and, and good lifestyle. He's been in Byron Bay for many years and um, he does wonderful things for the Byron Bay community. He, he tries to protect it as, as you know, as a proud Australian. And he, he's, he's wonderful for Byron Bay. You surf for the love and enjoyment of it, you know. And surfing is not a sport. I mean, surfing is like is an art. I mean, surfing is like music. Surfing is um, very simple to basically learn, but it's a large. Uh, world and you enter it on different levels at different times and you can you know, go out and ride away and come into the beach but to, to really get into surfing there's a lot of um, there's a lot of levels that you can that you can go to.